Hello witches, I am Harper Estes or Austin Fitness. Thank you for taking time out of your very busy day, I'm sure, to join me for this live pop-up broadcast about exposure coming to the church in 2024. This is a big win for witches since most of us witches used to be devout followers of Christ. Many of us used to be Christians and we left the church because we were abused mentally, physically, sexually, psychologically abused. And the exposure of the church is coming in 2024. I just heard that from the queen of witches, from her lips to your ears, exposure of the church is coming in 2024. Many of you witches have been horrifically abused by church members, by the deacon, by the pastor, by the prophet, by the first lady of the church. I know this. You don't have to confess to me. I see it in the spirit. I see it. But it's not going to go on with no judgment to follow. Oh, yes. You see these big pastors, these big ministries, these mega churches, they are going to be exposed in 2024. Many of you witches used to be members of these churches, these ministries, these mega churches, especially those churches online because social media is so, you know, attracted to those who are looking for answers when the answers are actually inside of us and not in the sky, not in the Bible, which is true. The answers is not in the Bible because the Bible is a ancient book of nonsense, a ancient book of stupidity. But for those witches who used to be Christians, devout followers of Jesus, I know you may have gotten beat up by the church horrifically, especially if you are part of the LGBTQ community and also happen to be a witch that might seem like a double whammy like damn I'm gay I'm a witch and the church won't get off my back they won't back down back away back off they won't stop that's going to stop in 2024 exposure of these churches these mega churches these ministries is coming in 2024 think of the biggest people in christianity Think of the people who have large platforms on social media, who have mega churches. Think about your pastor that tried to claim that it was you who had sexually approached him when it was him trying to pull your panties down or pull your drawers down. Yeah, those people are going to be exposed in 2024 you can't do which is wrong and go on your merry way you can't you cannot mistreat witches and go on your merry way exposure judgment is coming for these churches in 2024 many people become witches because of the abuse they suffered in church and Christians will say, oh, well, it's because you were in the wrong church. No, it was just that I was in church. It was just that I was a Christian. It's Christianity that's the problem. As we know, Christianity is a terrorist organization. It is. It is. Christianity is a terrorist organization. And I told you, which is that there will come a day when the cross is discarded. Just like the Nazi swastika, that day is going to come in our lifetime. In our lifetime. So if you have been mistreated, most likely you have been mistreated in the church, blamed for problems in the church, lied on in the church, stalked, abused, and then blamed, and then 
not taken seriously of your true accusations that happened to you when you were a Christian and when you were in church, it's going to come out in 2024. So your former pastor, your former minister, the prophet of the church, those people are going to be exposed and brought down. Many of them will actually be killed off by the queen of witches. Why? Because Hikate protects her own. That's why. I have seen Hikate just kill people. Take them right out of the earth. Because Hikate, the queen of witches, protects her own. Nobody escapes a traditional experience with the queen of witches. Nobody gets a pass. Not one soul gets a pass. The church for years as witches we know have thought to be untouchable. Yes, you members of the church can be touched, will be touched, and you will be touched in 2024. I can't say this enough. In our lifetime, the cross will be discarded just like the Nazi swastika. That will happen in our lifetime. People are tired of Christ. People have moved on from Jesus. People don't believe in his teachings anymore. People don't believe that Jesus fits modern day times. They don't want to be bothered with him. They sick and tired of hearing about his supposed sacrifice for all of mankind. They don't simply don't care anymore. Jesus does not fit modern day times. How do I know that Jesus does not fit into modern day times? Because Christians say that. They say Jesus is the same today and tomorrow. He does not change. So that means he does not change with the times, that means he is not current. He cannot relate to today's world. He can't, and yet he's seen as this king or prince of the armies or, you know, a savior or a martyr. And it's not. I said this before. Jesus is becoming more and more like the fading smile of a Cheshire cat. Let me say that again. Jesus is becoming more and more like the fading smile of a Cheshire cat. Just away, just gone, just people are no longer interested. Now they are becoming witches because only a witch, only through witchcraft can you have real significant and primarily positive change. Not all witches get that. Why? Because witchcraft requires you to do real world action. Now, when I say that, I'm not talking about what Christians say, which is Christians say faith with no works is dead. No, that's not true. That's not true. I'm talking about real world action. I mean, if you want that house, that car, whatever it is, you have to go for it. You know how to go for it, when to go for it, when you listen to your intuition. When you become a witch, your intuition is much heightened. You are psychic. If you were not born psychic, you become psychic. You just know things. You don't know how you know things. You just know what you know, and nobody can tell you any differently. Nobody can tell you any differently. Exposure of the church is coming in 2024. These Christians can try to pray it away, put up a hedge of protection, ask Jesus, God to protect them, and it's not going to work. It's not going to work because nobody misses a traditional experience with the queen of witches. Everybody will have a traditional experience with the queen of witches. May they be a devotee or not. May they make fun of her, make slick jokes, try to be funny, try to be cute. That doesn't matter to Hikate. It doesn't at all. Nobody escapes 
a traditional experience with Hikase. These churches, these ministries, these mega churches that have abused you before becoming a witch, they are going to get what's coming to them. And you must not feel sorry for whatever may happen to them. That means not feeling bad, not shedding tears for them. Not asking your chosen God or goddess to break the curse that you put on them. But letting nature take its course. Why? Because witches work with the energy found in nature to bring about real significant and permanently positive change. Nobody gets, nobody gets a pass. Nobody gets a pass. They may think they're getting away with something. Until they don't. They may think they're being funny or being cute. But they're not. They're not. It's all fun and games until it's on them. Until they are running away with their tail almost up their ass. I'm telling you, which is in 2024, January 1st. January 1st. That's a couple of weeks from now. Ministries churches mega churches the prophets the apostles the pastors the deacons the ministers the first lady they are all going to be exposed if they have abused you the witch they will be exposed and judgment will fall on their head and if they lose their life because of being exposed that's just too damn bad so what? They were dying anyway. That's not harsh. That's not mean. That's not evil to say. It's the truth. It is the truth. And witches have to stop feeling bad for these people. Witches have got to stop feeling bad about what their curse has done to a person that deserves it. You curse this person because they deserved it. So there's no reason for you to feel bad or to shed a tear for them. They weren't shedding tears when they were abusing you in church. And now in 2024, like the Christians say, it's Judgment Day. Just like the Christians say, 2024 is Judgment Day for Christians, not you. How often do you think you can hurt witches, abuse witches, and get away with it? You can't. You will not. You cannot, and you will not. He can't take protect her own. People don't understand the power and might of he can't take. That's why they choose stupidly to fuck around with witches. And a lot of these Christians, these churches, these ministries, these mega churches are going to fuck around. They, they already fucked around and will find out the hard way in 2024, as they should. As they should. Nobody escapes a tradi traditional experience with the Queen of Witches. Not one soul. Don't let it creep into your heads, witches, that these people that have abused you are getting away with anything. They are not. They are not. They can't. They can't. They think they are, but it's because they're so stupid. That they have no idea the power and the might of the queen of witches, Hikate. And what is going to fall on their head. The carpet that is going to be pulled from beneath their feet. Some of them are going to wake up with bites and scratches on their body. Like they should. Like they should. Because nobody escapes a traditional experience with the queen of witches. I just heard this from Hikate. Exposure of the church in 2024 for those witches who were former christians that were horrifically abused will get to have front row seats that means he constantly will allow you to see what happens to these people that abuse you when you were members some of you witches for some of you witches faithful members of their church he constantly will let you see it she will let you see it
and she'll let me see it too because I'm a former devout follower of Jesus Christ mm -hmm. so I had to come on here live listen all that noise you hear in the background is construction going on so you hear noise in the background on this live video or the replay it's because there is construction going on but I had to do it when he content tells me to speak to the witch community I do it even when there is construction going around in the background if he tells me to say something to our community of witches, I'm going to say it. I'm going to say, no matter what is going on in the world, I am a vessel of Hikata. I am a devotee of Hikata. I am a high priestess of Hikata. And I speak on her behalf, no matter what's going on. No matter what's going on. So I had to come on here for less than 20 minutes and tell it like it is, like it will be how it is unavoidable and to get which is excited that judgment is coming for them especially if they happen to be a former christian that attended church and were abused in the church because nobody escapes a judicial experience with the queen of witches you do not hurt witches and get to live a happy life you do not you do not you you will not you will not so thank you witches for joining me for this live pop-up broadcast. I will leave this up for the replay. If you came on late, I will share this on my stories. I will share this on my Twitter. Well, not Twitter. At Facebook and YouTube accounts. And be sure to share this broadcast with other witches that have been abused in the church. So that they know that there is exposure and judgment coming to them in 2024 because nobody escapes a traditional experience with the queen of witches so with that being said witches thank you for taking time out of your day and i'll speak to you soon bye everyone